Hey meatheads, welcome to Hijacked in International Waters. Beasting on the boat, as it may seem. This is another uh, MP7 rapid fire gameplay. And this was, this might have been the same night as the last video. I'm, I don't really remember. I still haven't gotten control of the <laughs> recoil on the rapid fire MP7. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try a couple of the other guns with it. I, I do really like the vector. As far as that goes, the vector the vector's pretty good because it's super, to me it's super accurate and I like the iron sights. So I don't have to waste a primary gunfighter on there. I can just use two slots and maybe do, I don't know, an extended mag or something like that. Um, you know, it, it allows me to, actually I use that, I use that uh, vector with my engineer class where I'm running... Um, perk greeds and dual black hats. I know it sounds like I say black cat, but I'm saying black hat. This is another bit of hip fire gameplay, but again, it was it was around the same time, so can't hate on it for that. Again, it's the setup that I'm set up here to hip fire, uh, constantly trying to move around. On this on this particular map here, it's it can be uh, pretty chaotic. Had a pretty funny game um, after this one, where we ran, we were running, playing against a whole clan, and I mean everyone in the clan was running Bettys and shock charges, and I turned on my engineer class, and the whole center of this map was just littered red, you know, because obviously all their all their equipment were showing up because I had the engineer perk on, and it was ridiculous. But it was funny because I just kept hacking all their equipment. I got a lot of. Uh, Betty kills from their Bettys being hacked. Yeah. Oh, you see, there they must be someone on the other team's using um, the black hat on this one too because they destroy my sentries pretty quick. They don't get to. I don't think they get too many kills. And it wasn't too many games after this that I decided to switch it up and run, run um, the hunter killer with the two, two um, uh, air you know air strikes because. Again, the the secret is out that the black hat is is a very useful tool, and I find that a lot of people are using it now, which again is okay. I, I think that it's if you really think about this, let's really look at this, right? You know, it, it may be frustrating, but it's balanced, right? You say, man, that's overpowered. That guy's running guardian sentry gun, and he's camping up in the top. Well with a piece of equipment like the black hat you can take that stuff out now that guy's camping that right there is camping back in a corner that's camping just saying there'll be a couple other ones here these guys start to get their butts whooped pretty good they start hanging out inside laying on the floor aiming down sights at a doorway is camping holding down an area i don't consider that camping but you make the call it's your decision not mine it's just an opinion but what I'm saying is, it may, just if you think about it in the right way, it is incredibly balanced. You could say, if you're if you're saying, man, that sentry gun, that guardian, oh my gosh, I can't get in there. That guy is holding down that area. All right, put on the black hat, take his stuff out. You get, you take his stuff out. You get points. You go in there. You take them out. That is a pretty good job of balancing equipment to um, maybe score streaks, right? I think it's pretty good. If you but you really got to think about it. You got to kind of pull yourself back away from the uh, whatever it might be, the moaning, you know, the the complaining about something. Like I said, let's say a sentry gun's up there and it's just owning you. I can't I can't run across the metal. Well, get, you know, throw C4 on it, blow it up. You got C4 option, you got black hat option, you've got shooting it, you've got um, grenades that you can get it up in there, especially if they plant it. You can see where I plant it facing, um, you know, up on the ledges up there facing out the windows. It's an easy target for people. Now, if people aren't paying any attention to it, it could get you so fair. Now, that right there, you guys make the call. What is this? I don't know. I think that guy was a little bit butt hurt. Might have been getting his butt whipped, even though he's got a golden LMG with target finder. Now, the target finder... That's a pretty strong sight, but again, run cold blooded. Is it? Yeah, it's cold blooded, um, and they can't see you. So, 
There, it seems I think they did a pretty good job with balancing things. You make one thing. So let's say you make one thing really strong, and let's use the sentry gun for example. The sentry can be really strong. It can sit there and run on its own, or you can actually run it yourself. Look at this guy. I don't know. You guys make the call on that dude. <laughs> I seem to find that guy inside a lot, but that's okay. You check your corners. Hey, if you get shot in the back by a corner camper, whose fault is it? Is it his or hers for maybe not being as good at the game as you are? Or is it your fault for not checking your corners? I say it's your fault. <laughs> Look, guys, it's all in the context of the way... Ooh, get knifed! That's a very rare occasion you'll see the wagon actually knife somebody, but this... uh Rapid fire goes through ammo so fast. I know, just you got to get ready for it. And also, I don't run a secondary. Like I said, I'm not running secondaries. Scavenger might be a good perk, but I'd have to actually look at um, at the setup that I've got. I know I've got perk three, greed. Kill that dude with the last bullet. The last bullet in my gun. Hey, you guys just ran by each other right there. Do you see that? That's right. Take a headshot, baby. But anyway, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here. But I think, you know, in my opinion, yeah, sure, the game's still early. It's still early on, and things can be exploited as the game uh, goes on and on. But, you know, my, my impressions here after, what, two weeks or so, I think they did a really good job of balancing things up. You know, I, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys think they did a good job of balancing? I do. I mean, I, I said before, I think that maybe sometimes we get a little bit too critical. We get over super sensitive about things and get too critical and miss like the little things like like balance. What is balance? Balance is something like the UAV spam, right? They made score streaks. People talk about the score streaks being a lot harder to get, especially the higher ones. So most people are spamming UAVs. Well, fine. They've, they've uh, nerfed the ghost perk to where you need to move around otherwise it's useless. Okay? That's balance. So I'm running ghost. Am I sitting in a corner? No. Do you think I appear on their mini maps? No way. No way, Jose, because I'm always running. And if I could have inf... You know what would be overpowered in this game that I think would be infinite marathon. That infinite sprint where you never you never get tired out. Not extreme conditioning, but marathon. That, I believe, would be overpowered. Hence, it's not in the game. You have extreme conditioning. You actually run out of, of sprint. So, do you, you see, I think someone, someone over there did a really good job of thinking, saying, look, let's... Let's look at this aspect. Let's look at that aspect. Let's make this strong. Let's give it two counters that they can do. Let's look at this perk. Let's look at that perk. Give them give them the option to counter something maybe with a perk. Give them the option maybe to counter something with a piece of equipment. You know what I mean? It gives you a lot of different options. So, I mean, let's let's look at that. I mean, give credit where credit is due. It, it's all right, there's that guy again, but that's okay. My fault. I couldn't see him. I actually couldn't see him at all, so it was a good spot for him. wasn't uh, wasn't necessarily in a corner, but so be it. Like I said, I ran into some lower level people, and it's funny because playing higher level people, like maybe that was my own hunter killer that came down and took me out with that other guy. Playing higher level people is easier because I th I believe. I'm not saying it's easier, like, in general. I'm saying it's easier to figure out what or anticipate what they're going to do because they're a better player. They're not going to be here. They may go there. They're going to do this. They're not going to do that. The harder players to anticipate are the newer players, the less experienced players, because they may not do something that you would expect a player to do. Now, this is really stupid here. Look at me. I give chase with no ammo, and the guy's just waiting for me. Took some stupid deaths there at the end, but 43 and 12 with 34 confirms. That's the key for me. 43 and 12 is a pretty good score, but 34 confirmed kills. That's where you get You want to rank up? Play some kill confirmed and grab some tags. Run around, have some fun. I think I got, what did I get, 56 or 58? on the score that's pretty good that's pretty good amount of uh, match bonus and xp that's a good way to rank up have a lot of fun doing it stay on the move use an smg hell you even use an assault rifle if you want hope you guys enjoyed a little boat gameplay hijacked so i'll see you guys next time later